Our top story this evening, a well-known Appleton defense attorney is in trouble with the law. Police believe 64-year-old Thomas Zesch sexually assaulted a Grand Shoot woman at his home on Sunday. Officers arrested Zesch late last night. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramis has our details. He's known for defending convicted serial killer David Spanbauer in the 1990s. More recently, Manish Kumar Patel, who authorities believe fled the country after slipping his girlfriend an abortion drug. Now the attorney could become a client, possibly facing charges of his own. Officers arrested 64-year-old Thomas Zesch late Monday after a confrontation in Grand Chute. They met with a woman who indicated that a gentleman that she had uh, formerly dated, I believe, showed up at her apartment and uh, after a short disturbance that took place, he refused to leave. Zesch is currently being held without bond in the Outagamie County Jail. He has not been formally charged. Grand Chute Police Chief Greg Peterson says Zesch pushed the woman during the conflict, but she did not need medical attention. She told police Zesch had sexually assaulted her the night before at his Appleton home. Grand Chute Police quickly got Appleton officers involved. They had information of a sexual assault that occurred in Appleton's jurisdiction on the previous evening. The department began an investigation at Zesch's Mist Wood Lane home. Police are recommending charges of second-degree sexual assault and false imprisonment. But officers admit the high-profile nature of the case causes some complications. Whenever we're dealing with situations like this, yeah, there, there always is a conflict of interest um, with uh, Mr. Zesh being an, an, an attorney. Zesh is a part-time court commissioner in Outagamie County. The district attorney's office had no comment on the case, but does say the Department of Justice plans to appoint a special prosecutor to help the county avoid any conflict of interest. Charges could come as early as Wednesday. Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Now, in addition to a special prosecutor, the county will likely need to bring in an outside judge to hear the case.